Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. Today I want to show you an example workflow for designing a part in a Libre Atom 3D and generating toolpaths to cut it out in Carbide Create. Atom 3D is a fully parametric standalone CAD software, and if you purchased a CNC from us between the start of our Black Friday sale through the end of 2019, you should have access to a complimentary copy of Atom 3D. Here is one way to get your projects from that software into a CAM program and then out into the real world. I'm starting with a part I already designed in Atom 3D. It's supposed to be a tie hanger that you can put in your closet, but I have no idea if it's going to work or not, we'll find out soon enough. If you need help with the fundamentals of Atom 3D, I encourage you to check out the selection of tutorial content that Alibre has. Those videos provide a pretty good overview of the basics of their software. I will, however, go over the general design process with this part. I first started with a sketch to define the overall shape of my hanger. I've got a hook formed by two concentric circles that's sized to comfortably accommodate closet rods of up to 1 and 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. Below it, I've joined it to a roughly triangular body minus the pointy bits. Then I extruded this sketch out to give it three-dimensional volume. Now there are some pretty egregious stress concentrations at the neck of the hanger, so to address that and to also round over some of the hard edges, I applied some fillets. Next, I sketched out a cutout in which you can slip a standard necktie. There's a little notch at the edge to prevent your ties from sliding out accidentally, something that seems like it should be self-explanatory and universal, but it clearly isn't. And then I'll do an extruded cut with this sketch to make a spot for one tie. But since most guys own more than one tie, I'll create a linear pattern of these cutouts aligned with the diagonal edge of my hanger. Now we can hold five ties, which is enough for my own personal collection, but I understand that my fashion sense is below average at best. I'll mirror my original cutout to the other side of the hanger and then create seven more cutouts. That brings our capacity up to a nice round dozen that I'll never be able to fill so long as I have the option of going into work wearing jeans and a t-shirt, which I hope will be forever. To lighten the hanger both physically and visually, I'll create a cutout in the middle. And then I'll apply a couple more fillets, including this one that I forgot to do earlier. Now we have a workable design and we need a way to machine this. Atom 3D can export DXF files and Carbite Create can import DXF files, so I think we have a workable solution here. To get a DXF of this hanger out of Atom 3D though, we need to create a drawing of it. In the design workspace, you can only export solid models like STLs. To export DXFs, you need to be in the drawing workspace. I'll create a blank drawing and Atom 3D by default wants to drop in three views of the models we were just working on. I don't need the top and side projected views, so I'll delete those. The last thing to do before exporting this is to bump the scale up to 100%. Now I'll export this using the latest and greatest DXF standard, and then I'll bring it into Carbide Create. Based on the shape of this piece, I'm inclined to orient it 45 degrees to horizontal and stick it in the corner of my stock to minimize waste. To cut it out, I'll apply a contour toolpath to the inside of my inner cutout, and apply a contour toolpath to the outside of my hanger. The default speeds and feeds are a little slow for my taste, so I'll bump up the feed rate a little. You're welcome to go faster than this, but if you're using a weaker work holding strategy like double-sided tape, you probably don't want to be running anywhere near the limits of your end mill lest you tear the hanger off your CNC's bed. And that is one of several ways to start in Atom 3D and end with usable G-code. Use a DXF file to hand off the part geometry to Carbide Create. If you want to try your hand at making this particular tie hanger, I'll have a link to the project files on CutRocket. Pro tip, if you do want to make this, I highly recommend using a good quality plywood or wood with a fine grain structure. Even with sanding up to 220 grit, exposed end grain on this material would sometimes catch on the fibers of the ties and prevent them from sliding smoothly into their slots. Hope this helps those of you who are playing around with Atom 3D. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.